Virgo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Please do subscribe to the channel because yes, I've stopped date I've stopped putting dates on my videos because I realize they don't really matter. But I do upload a new one every single week. So if you want them hot off the press, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you know when I upload, you'll get notified. Perfect situation, right? Um, this is an oracle card reading. It's an energy reading. It's not a horoscope. So it really doesn't matter if you're a sun, moon, rising, Virgo, or Virgo is where your Mercury is, or it doesn't matter. Wherever Virgo energy influences your chart, you can apply these themes for the next couple of days, week or so. Okay? Um, there's always an extended reading, so please do join me for that. I love when you go over there with me. It supports the channel. Um, but it's an extended reading, so it builds out of the reading that we start here on YouTube. It articulates it and it personalizes it. There's just more detail. Um, and that also includes a special romance reading at the end. Let's get into your Oracle card reading. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Oh, damn. Look at you right on top. Believe in yourself, Virgo. Have you had doubts? Um, see, this is the thing. Because this is your crowning energy, and your crowning energy is you. So, I don't think that you really doubt yourself. I think that you doubt your importance to other people. It's like you wake up every day knowing that you're right but being insecure in your rightness, like not really uh, wanting to own the fact that you have as much power as you have or that you are as capable as you are. And yes, you are more than willing to tell people what they're doing wrong, but simultaneously, sometimes you hesitate when it comes to stepping out and taking the lead because that requires you to believe in yourself and be open to criticism. And you expect that criticism is going to be as harsh as the criticism you provide. And you don't, you don't want it. But this is a sense of, you really know that you've got this this time. There's a lack of doubt here. Plant those seeds. There's something that you're doing right now that is planting the seeds for your future for more prosperity and abundance to grow that's going to help your family your friends you squirrel squirrel it away man they collect it's like you're collecting your nuts you got your nuts you're, you're a squirrel with its nut you got it keep on collecting it keep on grabbing it and you're smart. So what you'll do with that nut is you won't just save it to eat it. You'll plant it to make more. So now, right now, you are planting the seeds for more prosperity in your future. Now, I'd like to know how you're doing it. That's what we're going to get into. Love is all around. You're communicating. Master communications. This is Gemini energy, your sister sign, your, your Mercury sister sign. That's what I'm saying. Mercury energy, all kinds of upright and straight, out of retrograde. Isn't that nice? But people are singing your praises. Like everyone around you absolutely adores you. And they, they're they the ones that are trying to plant the seeds to keep you around. You are the ticket. You are the valued commodity. So take advantage of this situation because you know, stuff comes and goes. Trends peak and they fall. Look what just happened with the stock market. Catch it when it's on the uprise. Understand? Like, just don't even ask. Don't even question. Then if the nuts are falling from the sky, grab them, store them away, and plant some. This is your turn. This is your opportunity. There's really been a change of events. It's almost like all of a sudden the world has bum-rushed you and it's changed to your favor. Catch the wave, dude. Take it all in. Seriously, Virgo. If you have if you have the opportunities coming, do it. Be here now. Build something beautiful. You, like either you've been come, become inspired or you've inspired somebody else. But there is a sense of 
hypnotic beauty being hip this is libra energy but this is the this is almost like the venus and taurus libra energy this is the beauty beauty and 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 it's sometimes vanity but no it's not vanity because it's admiring somebody else's beauty you might get some serious flirtation going on somebody might be trying to plant their seed this could be a very sensual time for you or somebody could be trying to plant seeds to uh for your future like to get you to stay around them or in their life you have captivated or have been captivated by a group of people or somebody in particular now the Gemini energy makes me think that it's somebody in particular because this isn't necessarily group. This is a, a this is a one-on-one -on -one communication and admiration. But it was definitely ooh my lucky penny. It was definitely the admiration of somebody who could really help you out. Surrender now, like a moth to a flame. This is serious attraction. Now. This could be an opportunity and not a person. So you could be attracted to this opportunity or this opportunity could be attracted to you and it's just crash landing right in your lap. This is like the energy of like a moth to a flame. You can't resist this. This is something that you cannot resist. Like I told you, grab them nuts. You can't refuse this. You're not supposed to refuse this. This is Sagittarius energy. I have Virgo, I have Gemini, I have Sagittarius. I literally have a mutable trine. It, uh, not, no, it would, you would always all be squared to each other technically. But there is this beautiful energy of mutable energy. So you get to really make decisions here. Nothing is set in stone, but it's all this beautiful potential to make of it what you will. Spirit has your back. And now it's, this is interesting. I have a mutable, a cardinal, a mutable, and now another cardinal because this is Libra energy and this is Capricorn energy. So I have mutable, cardinal, mutable, cardinal. This is interesting. What did I say? Peaks and valleys, right? Take it while it's there. This, this is spirit. A change. A change is happening in your life. The shift has happened, but it's divinely guided. It's divinely placed. This is the energy of seven plus five, which equals uh, 12, which is three. Balance. Heart, mind, and body all together. Spirit, mind, and body. Body, mind, and soul. Divinely guided. This is Capricornian energy. So this is somebody who's a lawmaker, a rule maker. You could be taking the lead and becoming the leader yourself. Getting to take on the lead because you've been distinguished or uh, distinguished as leadership potential. Taking those honors courses, being duct inducted into this uh, society or getting the raise or Somebody willing to commit to you. Somebody willing to commit long-term to you. In a relationship. Something's happening with my phone. That's the second time it's jumped. It's weird. I'm sorry about that. Um, either in a committed relationship. Like, like this is a commitment. Absolutely. This is long-term because this is Capricorn energy. This is long-term. Something that's going to last long-term. It's sustainable. Mm. And that's your central energy, lasting long-term, building something that will last. And your crowning energy is planting those seeds for the future. Oh, you have got your plan set. You really do. You're not letting go. You're, you're building here to stay. And it's okay because they love you too. They really, they really think you're pretty amazing. Can't resist you. Like I said, that could be work too. But, that, but it would mean that your boss is absolutely crazy about you. Not necessarily in a, a, an intimate way, but in the way that, oh, no, they want to keep you around. This is a good time to ask for a raise. Because they want you. They adore you. They want you to stay long term. You're the one. The ball is in your court, Virgo. There is always enough. Nine. 
realizing that you have everything that you need. This is Pisces energy, abundance, abundance all around, being able to swim in resources, having enough resources to take care of the ones that you love, to take care of yourself, to take care of things in the future. Like you are stocking up and storing up in that second and third refrigerator in the basement or the garage. One's in the basement, one's in the garage. You, you have, you, you listen, this, this is literally enough. Emotionally, you are happy. You are feeling very content. And this is also mutable energy. Mutable, cardinal, mutable, cardinal, mutable. Up and down and up and down and up and down. Like a heartbeat. There's life here. There's sustainable life. Maybe there's new life. I got that too. Owl. Oh, we finally have some fixed energy. You see clearly now. Something's being brought to your attention. Something that you didn't realize. And now you're wise to it. You see it. You get it. And it could have been um, information that wasn't available to you yet. Like just finding out you're pregnant. Or just finding out... Um, just fight like just getting the job offer or just finding out how people feel about you. This is aha, the truth, the truth being realized, the truth coming out. Or also being able to see in the dark. You've probably already picked up nuances of this because you're very intuitive, Virgo. But this is definitely you getting it. You getting wise to something. Take a leap of faith. Don't wait for the full answer. Trust your vibe because everything that you think is correct. This is the number of three. So mode it be. Something coming into being. Somebody's also going to, this could also be an advisor that you should have faith in. Because they're going to tell you and give you advice that's actually going to be very good. Listen to them. Listen to them because it will help out in this beautiful, bright future that you're going to. It'll help out a lot. Open to infinite possibilities. You are the star. What did I say? Grounding your energy. You're the star. This is also Aquarius energy. You might have an Aquarius in your life that's helping you out a lot. Helping direct you and conduct your efforts so it goes in the right direction. Because you really, they're an advisor. You really trust their advice. But this is the truth. This is shining. This is like the star card, right? Getting your wishes, your wishes and dreams coming true. But more to the point, this is attention. All eyes on you. All eyes on you. All eyes are on you. Revel in it. I know lots of times you don't like the attention. Tend to the small things. But now you have the resources so that you can pick up those little tidbits. Anything that you felt like you left behind or weren't able to get to, Virgo, now you're able to spotlight it. And take care of it. Take care of those things that you thought you were missing out on. Take care of those things that you, you had to say no to. It's those details now that you can focus on because you just got a raise. Or you just got an, an engagement ring. Tend to the small things can also have been a buildup of things that were, har were harming you or hurting you. Or things that you were trying to ignore and put away that got out of control. You're now being able to sort of clean up. Cleaning up those last odds and ends and tidbits to get them really taken care of. But I think it's the way that you tend to the small things that's making you shine. It's those details and your attention to detail that is bringing attention to you. And making people want you so bad. Making all these opportunities come to you. Open to infinite, it's this card. Of, oh, what I say? And I saw this when I was shuffling for you too. Five, huge changes in the right direction. A rebirth is assured. Newness, freshness. If you've been suffering or um, feeling a loss or feeling at a loss or feeling burdened, now you're coming out of the dark. You're coming back into control, back into a place where you Make the decisions and dictate what's going to happen. So you're feeling good again. You're feeling happy. You are the sonar guidance system. And this is also bats and mice. Hmm. 
can be very nocturnal. Mm, oh, this is like that shining star in the dark, that hope that lights your way. Make a wish, make a wish because it'll come true. Something may have been bothering you recently, but you're able to, I think, but it's for a helpful reason. It's almost like you've come full circle throughout this, this sort of like life cycle. You've come full circle. And you're finally able to pick through and let go of those things that were still making you suffer or that you were still holding on to. You help to provide direction. That's the grounding energy. You are the grounding energy. The energy of, of, of your talents and your skills, of you being able to um, compartmentalize and, and organize and structure. If you apply that to those places in your life that are emotional and somehow sometimes getting out of your control, if you look at it pragmatically and you start to look at why you feel these things, like apply your own skills to your own problems and they will make more sense to you. But this is definitely overall, you know what? Hold on. I'll summarize while we review the cards. If you want to click on the link right now, you can go over to um, the um, extended right now too. So hopefully I'll see you over there. There we go. See how you, I mean, the first card out was your energy. Crowning this whole reading was your energy. And your energy is what gives you solidity. It's, it's what, if anything is bothering you, Apply your talents and skills to it. Shine your light on it. You'll be able to help yourself by applying your own talents and skills because your own talents and skills are the things that everybody's taking notice of. That's why you the star, because of the way that you can make sense out of things that, that really get everybody else into a cluster, you know what? child let's get into this extended i want to see what else the universe has in store for you link is below because i know you want to know i'll see you over there